Namaskar, good afternoon, and swagatam. On behalf of the Northeastern Council Shillong, Government of India, the Planning Department, Government of Manipur, the Ma Manipur Mountaineering and Trekking Association, it is indeed a privilege in warmly welcoming you to the first Northeast India Top of the World Mount Everest Expedition 2013 flagging off ceremony. I now request Sri D.S. Punia, the Chief Secretary of the Government of Manipur and the Chef de Mission to kindly brief us about the expedition, please. On behalf of the organizing committee and myself, I would like to express our heartfelt gratitude to the President, Sri Pranam Mukherjee, Minister, Youth Affairs and Sports, Sri Jitendra Singh, Minister, Donor, Sri Pavan Singh Gattovar, Ministers, and members of parliament from the northeastern states, officers from the central and state government, and the NEC for accepting our invitation for attending this prestigious function at the Rashtrapati Bhavan. It is my privilege to welcome you all to this flag off ceremony. I would also like to welcome the team members, invitees, and friends from the media, both print and electronic, whose contribution is vital to the success of this mission. I welcome you all to this flag off ceremony. President Sir, this will be the first ever Mount Everest expedition comprising team members only from the northeastern India. This mission is funded by the NEC, Shillong, and supported by the Planning Department, Government of Manipur. The Manipur Mountaineering and Trekking Association, led by Dr. L. Surjit, is leading the expedition. The objective of the Mount Everest expedition is to share the experiences of adventure sports among the youths and to foster amongst them a spirit of risk-taking, cooperative teamwork, and create capacity for ready and vital response. It is also aimed at creating alertness among the participants to challenging situations and inculcate quality of endurance in our young people. President Sir, both the NEC and the Northeastern states recognize the need to empower our young people and give them self-confidence, endurance, excellence, courage, and create strong fraternal bonds between different, often very diverse, ethnic communities. Unlike the Olympics and other sports championships, mountaineers have no audience around them except Mother Nature. They play on Mother Nature's lap against rolling boulders, icy air, and under threat of avalanches. I appeal to all of us present here to bless the brave mountaineers from the Northeast and wish them all success. Thank you, President Sir. I now request the Chief Secretary and the Chef de Mission of the Government of Manipur, Sri D.S. Punia, to kindly present a memento and a beautiful coffee table book on Manipur to the Honorable President, please. And I request Sri Santosh Shekhar, the Public Relations Officer of the expedition, to kindly present a souvenir to the Honorable President, please. Safety Mission, Sri D.S. Punia, Young participants, members of the parliament, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I'm delighted to be amongst all of you this morning. This expedition is important not only because it seeks to scale Mount Everest, which is at an elevation of 8,848 meters is the highest peak in the world, but also because it symbolizes mankind's indomitable spirit to triumph against all odds. It is every 
mountaineer's dream to scale the summit of Mount Everest, and I'm sure that the members of this expedition feel no differently. This expedition has several firsts to its credit, including being the first expedition comprising exclusively of mountaineers from all the Northeast Indian states. It comprises Mrs. Ansu Jamsenpa, the first lady from Urunachal Pradesh to have scaled Mount Everest twice and who would now be possibly creating some sort of history by doing it for the third time. I wish her all success and advanced congratulations. Sri N. Chinkad Ganaba, a young boy of 16, shall on the successful completion of the expedition perhaps would be the youngest to scale the Mount Everest. I wish him all success in this endeavor. This expedition being funded by the Northeastern Council, Silom, is also the first to be executed under the leadership of the state government of Manipur. MMTA is the first voluntary organization in the country to impart training to the Indian Army in the pre-basic mountaineering course at its institute. I'm happy to note that MMTA and MMI are conducting various adventure activities such as Himalayan expeditions, parasailing, paragliding, ballooning, rafting, rock climbing, and so on and so forth. The efforts of the MMTA and the MMI have thrown up several mountaineers, including Srimati G. Anita Devi, who climbed Mount Everest on 5th May 1993 and also became the first Northeastern lady to be conferred the Padma Sri in 2004 in the field of adventure and mountaineering activities. Mr. Dennis Singh similarly became the first Manipuri to have climbed Mount Everest on 22nd May 2008 through SGMI Gangtok. I once again offer my best wishes, blessings, all the good wishes to all members of the expedition. I am sure that all of you will bring laurels to the country by successfully scaling the summit of Mount Everest and I wish you safe return journey after performing your adventure sport and doing it with the right spirit. Thank you. Yes.